Hey there, and welcome to Mama Bell's home. One of the most frustrating things as a home mom can be just cleaning, decluttering, or organizing something, and as soon as we're done with it, it's all messed up and dirty again. In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can become a better mom and how you deal with this situation. The shift that I made to go from frustrated to thankful and some encouragement for you to do the same. If this is something that you deal with, like this video. And I'm gonna be going ahead and decluttering and reorganizing our family bookshelves and kids play area while I do it. I wanna go ahead and start out by saying I still have moments of weakness and I can feel the hurt and anger rise up, but I have become quicker with practice to get it in check. Take the thoughts and feelings captive. A few years ago, I was a part of a webinar by Rachel Jankovic, Through the House with Joy. And I was really in awe of how she looked at messes and the work to be done in the home and was reminded of the verse Proverbs 14:4, where there are no oxen, the manger is clean, but abundant crops come by the strength of an ox. A messy home is a productive home. Messes represent life and growth, learning and creativity. I grew up in a home that my mom wanted clean always. She didn't like messes, and I assume because she had very little control elsewhere, this gave her some kind of comfort. But as a mother, I don't want my children to be stifled or too scared to make messes or to be creative. I remember getting so mad if I cleaned a bathroom and someone used it after, or tidied up the toys in the kids' play area, and then they play with them after, which is so crazy to me now. A toilet is to be used, and isn't it the pleasant to have a fresh cleaned bathroom? Or toys, who doesn't love to be in a clean space or room or have things freshened up and organized? I know a clean kitchen is always more welcoming to me and it gives me the inspiration to get in there and cook. So isn't it the same for our children with a clean playroom or space and toys and books they can see? And is it not the purpose of me buying them for my children, for their enjoyment? These are all questions I ask myself. The purpose of our work, cleaning, organizing, and creating spaces of joy and comfort is not that it would stay clean, but that we and our families may enjoy it, feel peace and comfort, play, be creative, and live life. A clean home with no messes represents a lack of these things. So what can we do when we feel the rising frustration and annoyance of our newly cleaned or organized spaces getting messed up? First and foremost, pray. Pray right there in the moment. God wants us to be productive in our work. And work is not bad, it's good, and it's been the plan from the beginning. And he knows that caring and nurturing people isn't an easy task, and he has equipped us for the work and given us a helper to intercede when we are having struggles. So call on him. Next, let us consider why we are feeling this way. Are we trying to preserve our clean spaces for a reason? Is it because someone may or may not come over and see the messes of life? I know I have struggled with this very thing. What if somebody were to stop by and see this? What would they think? What would they think about me? About how I am as a mom? I was so worried about what some random person might or might not think of me. I was willing to let my children think that I would get mad at them. I was so focused on what someone outside of my home could think instead of being considerate about what those in my home may think of me. Ouch. That thought wrecked me. As much as I didn't want to be like my mom in that area, that's exactly what I was doing. So I decided, no more. I want to be the best mom I can be. I want my children to look back on their childhood with fondness and how much fun and joy they had. I have had to lay down many of my preferences to make this happen. And you know what? I don't regret a single one of them. And the joy and fun that I have witnessed because I am more focused on my kids instead of the messes or chaos that will be caused. I have a close friend that re will refer to me as the fun mom. And she recently told me she means it as a compliment and hopes that I don't take offense to it. And I had this conversation with her and I had to think about how could she possibly think that I would take offense to this. And you know what? It never has. I take it as one of my most favorite and valued compliments because I have had to work so hard to become a fun mom, not a particular angry, messes worried mom. It hasn't been easy. In fact, with seven kids, it can be extremely challenging and I have found myself in tears many times at laying it all down. 
but I know that through my willingness to change, I have become a better mom. I have also found myself in the mess with them, inviting them in to cook with me, knowing it will be messy, knowing that this endeavor is going to create chaos and yes, it could be easier if I just did it myself, I would have less messes if I just did it myself, but inviting them in and giving them memories that they will look back on with joy and fondness. Planning crafts for them and encouraging them to make messes and get creative. I literally bought a shirt with Miss Frizzle saying, make messes and take chances as a reminder. So back to the verse, where there are no oxen, the manger is clean, but abundant crops come by the strength of an ox. Dirty clothes show food and healthy appetites. Our cupboards are filled, our fridges are filled, and our children have healthy appetites to eat. Dirty laundry, it shows that we have bodies to clothe, that they have fun and they have eaten their food. Dirty bathrooms show good hygiene and cleanliness, running water, healthy digestive systems, toys laid out, blocks all stacked up, and messy bookshelves represent playing, creativity, learning, growing. So what can you be thankful for today? What messes can you see and see the blessings, the life and productivity? I encourage you as you go about your day, as you clean and care for your family, see the life the blessings, the richness and goodness that is all around you and fills your home. You have a unique gifting and being a mom and a homemaker and let's be better moms together. Subscribe for more mom encouragement and tips and how to be more effective and efficient in your homemaking and motherhood. Like this video and comment what you want to see more of on this channel. Thank you for watching and I appreciate you. If you're looking for some more mom encouragement, there's a playlist over here or maybe some more cleaning and organizing here. And I'll see you there.